Hello everybody and welcome back to Alaris Labs YouTube channel. As you may know, the new version 3.5.2 was released and here we are going to list the most important features and changes from the new version. As not all features and corrections will be discussed in this video, you are always able to check the full list of the innovations in the release note document, which link you can find under this video. Two new system settings were added in the system settings interface. There are EDR export record count limit, number of parallel threads for EDR export tasks. Using first parameter you can specify the number of the EDRs which will be exported from the retail portal using EDR export interface. In case the value will be 1 million, then you will be able to export 1 million EDRs in one file. As such tasks take a lot of server resources and can influence on the system performance, we have added a second parameter. It will limit the number of tasks which can be started and export EDRs from the retail portal. For example, in case the value is equal to 2, then only two different parallel tasks can be started and running at the same time. The system will put all other starter tasks in queue and will export them later. In the new version we have added a new system setting which lets you choose the SMS rate searching logic. It is rate inheritance mode. In case you choose the first option 0, then you will activate longest match at child option. The priority you can notice on the screen. It means that the system will firstly try to find the rate in the child product while the second option priority looks as follows. To find the longest match the system will check the child and parent product step by step. By default the global longest match will be chosen. Be also aware that this feature works only for the billing, as the routing supports only the mode 1. Sometimes you can make an agreement with your partners regarding the number of days before which you have to get the rate notification for the rate changes. For example, you have decided that your partners have to inform you regarding the new rate 4 days before the effective from date. In this case, it will be more comfortable to use the field in new rate notification days in the agreement interface to apply the effective from date automatically. We have implemented such logic in the rate import interface. Let's check the following example. In the system, we have the following agreement with the following rate notification periods. We have four fields here and they will influence rate import in the following way. In case the fields in decrease notification days and in new rate notification days have the same value for, as in our example, this value will be automatically inserted in the field rates come into effect after, in the interface rate import. But in case the value of these fields is different, the field rates come into effect after will be left blank. As for the field increase come into effect after of the rate import interface, it will be also automatically filled using the value of the in increase notification days in the agreement document. Sometimes your partners provide you with the following MCC-MNC for the default network using the following format. It causes rate to be imported as full E212 number and influence the billing. To avoid this we have added a special system setting list of net names to ignore MNC, where by default it has the following value. It means that in case you have received the price, where the following rate will be present and MCC MNC will have separate columns and the column net name will be specified, then MNC will be ignored. But in case MCC MNC is inserted in the same column, the setting will be not activated and MNC will be imported without changes. As you may know, there is a field product preset in the interface SMS rate expert which refers to the second tab of the same interface and represents the product name and the preset name. We have added an opportunity to open the exact preset which will be activated by the export and the specific product selection. So as you can see on the screen by clicking on the preset name, the system will open the second tab of this interface and filter the exact preset automatically. It can help you save your time with searching the right preset. A new field and a checkbox were added to the interface star, SMS, routing, translation rules. As there could be many rules in the list, sometimes it was difficult to find the needed one. That is why the field name was added to make the search more comfortable. 
and the checkbox Enable lets you also enable or disable the rule. Now, additionally to the other interfaces, you are able to export data from the interface Start, SMS, Reference Book, Reference Book Editor to the Excel file. You need to choose whether you need the top or bottom grid to be exported and click on the following button. The export will take into account if the data is filtered. Also, please be aware that exporting all the information without filter may take time and cause huge Excel file size. In the interface SMS routing rules, the new column and multi-picker MCCMNC was added. It lets you filter all the rules where the exact MCCMNC or MC is used. You can also use exclude option which lets you exclude rules where all MCCMNC option is chosen in the list as you can see on the screen. Sometimes it is needed to find the reason why the channel and the connection was not established. Now, by creating the SMPP channel, the system will try to establish the connection and in case your partner will answer with the error on our bind request, the status of the channel will be marked as rebind needed. But in case the system didn't get the answer at all, the status will be offline. It means the SMS switch sends the mentioned bind request but the vendor didn't answer at all. By registering a new payment, you have an opportunity to attach a confirmation document. Now, after the payment and the document are imported, they will be sent to the client via address which is specified in the field default invoice emails of the agreement interface, in case this option is enabled. Before, only the confirmation was sent without a document. The filter in the interface start, reference book, currency exchange rates was revised. A checkbox show actual rates and a button clear referral were added. In case you click on this checkbox, the interface will fill and return all rates, which are actual only for the actual day and fields date from and date till will be not active, as you can see on the screen. By clicking on the button Clear Filter, all the parameters will be reset. In the interface star, Finance, Recurring Fees was slightly reworked to make sorting and filtering of data possible. We have also added three new columns. Currency, Amount, Carrier. The sorting is possible now for the columns Carrier, Volume, Amount, Currency. By clicking on the columns you are able to sort the available data based on the information which is located in this column. Filtering is possible for the following. Currency, Volume, Amount, Carrier and Account. In one of the previous versions we have added browser notifications which let you get the notification when the created task is finished. Now we have also added an opportunity to get the notifications for a manager when his carrier exceeds a balance or credit threshold. For example, let's imagine the following configuration of the account thresholds. On the screen you can see the ruler of these notifications. The actual balance is $1,500 and the first threshold, which will be exceeded, is $1,000. In case you are a manager of this carrier and the balance exceeds this threshold, you will get the notification in the browser by clicking on which the system will open the interface carriers, accounts interface and, and will filter the exact carrier and account for your convenience. This logic works for every presented balance and credit threshold. Before, when several vendor products were specified in the dynamic choices and the field formal was blank, this caused the routing list to select vendors randomly. Now you can request our support team to activate this feature, which will let you use the order of the vendors in the routing rule as the order of the routing list. So the routing list will have the same order as it is presented in the routing rule. To activate this feature faster, please contact our support team and specify the following code. Before, in the interface rate editor, it was not possible to clone rates in the vendor products from the client. Now we have allowed this option to be able to clone rate from the client product to the vendor. Probably you are already aware how the carrier specific nomad translation works in the system. This field is located in the interface voice POI. The filling of this field was reworked. Now, in case the field carry specific number translation is blank, then the system will copy the value from the field tech prefix. 
but in case these fields are filled with different values, they will be left the same and will be not rewritten as you can see on the screen. Well, that is all technical details which we plan to describe in this video. Hopefully it was useful for you. In case you have any questions regarding the new version and the features which were not described here, you can always contact our support team. If you have any suggestions regarding the channel development, we'll be happy to get them also by the following email. So see you in the next lesson!